Hello again, Capricorns and Cross Watchers. This is the extended reading. So this is following up on the reading I just did for November, right? Once again, Capricorns and Cross Watchers, this is for the sign of Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but this also resonates with your Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars, right? So check your charts on those as well with these. I'm probably going to forget that. In the other one. That's okay though. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, just boop your nose, way it goes, and avoid the worry about shit that got nothing to do with you and ain't none of your damn business unless that's what you want to do and no one's stopping you. E. Uh, I only keep my legs down because, yeah, some people are not on me. But we're quiet for now. Anyway, anything for personal readings are down in the description box below. Right? So enjoy that. Anyway, Capricorns and Cross Watchers, you're extended the reading. You got four corners, right? Queer it. What needs to be known. Their energy or the situation's energy, as well as the desire of the person or energy, right? You were reading up on your person, right? Might need to be a decision done. And that's the key right here. A choice needs to be made, and that's the key to this situation, right? However, what needs to be known also is like there's really no clear understanding of what I feel like this person might also be really scatterbrained and that's why they can't see what will help them. Like they're kind of a bird brain. They're not very wise. Which is why they can't really see a victory here. Let's see. We got the king of bows and the boats. It could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They might be taking off somewhere or traveling somewhere or there could be an air sign involved here. Someone might be speaking of going elsewhere and shit. Possibly. Then we got the Guardian, which is a Capricorn's card. It's reversed as well as the cross is reversed. Someone's not being a guardian or they're refusing to guard something or blah, blah, blah. Or someone's escaping some sort of negative shit because, um, well, you know, they don't really have any faith in the situation. That's the energy and desire. So yeah, um, this person's very odd, Capricorns and Cross Watchers, from your extended, like, I feel like you're not putting up with any of this shit because, like, you don't have any faith in the situation, you know? Like, you know, um, it seems like the bird comes over to you, the kingfisher, but there's a boat here too, so it's like, how are you going to be on the boat but you're flying near land, like, you know, nothing's in the ocean. Decision definitely needs to be made. Um, what you don't know, this person's pretty scatterbrained, I feel like. They don't even know what they're doing, so. But it's extended, right? Right. So let's see, what's their next move? Um, they don't want to deal with any more frustration, they just want to nip things in the bud. What's blocking this person though? Why do we not even get these all lined up right? I'd be so mad at myself. Mm. Ace of Vessels reversed, the water of life's not flowing. So that's what's blocking them, they can't really start anything. Um, there's no potential, emotional or otherwise, or anything that's um, keeping them there, really, I should say. Um, what to be wary of, or what to be, this is to be aware when it, in regards to the person's situation, Capricorns and Cross Watchers. Oh, there's a big ass bear, 20. Um, what the fuck's 20? Isn't that judgment? Either way, there's a big ass bear. There's a big ass bear. Capricorns and Cross Watchers, you could be the big ass bear because you got the guardian. The guardian's in the cave, or the bear comes before you. One of the two. Um, what's the result of all this with this person, their actions, their behaviors, or just the situation in general? Let's see. Ah, uh, 
there's going to be a lack of celebration here. Four of bows could be dealing with a Gemini. Mm. So, now we know pretty much with the extension, like how this person is going. Like, they recognize that you're not having a lot of faith in them to begin with. But I feel like they also travel a lot, too. Like, they're traveling anyway. They could be traveling to you. They're not very clear and scatterbrained of what they want, but they also know that there needs to be a decision to be made here as well. I just need to spread out this money. Are you proud of me? I, you better be. I hope so. Took a few minutes. I actually practiced this before I started. Two. Mother of all pearls. Ugh. So, oh, okay. This four arrows. This is a. Mm, hmm. Let's see. Four of arrow. Frustration. That would be like the four of air. Um, someone doesn't want to be frustrated. This person or a situation, like, someone doesn't want to deal with it. But in reality, they're really not handling their emotions very well either. Capricorn Cross Watchers. You know, they already have the Ace of the Bow up here. So this is someone who doesn't really want to look at the situation. They're sick of being frustrated with it. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or they could have that in their chart somewhere. Um... It's not like they're very fair with it either. You don't really they like this is a person who's frustrated because they know they can't give the same things to two people. Or they can only give so much to one person and leave the other person neglected. Could be you, Capricorns of Cloth Watchers, are doing this with. I think they're frustrated because they know that like you demand a lot more than what they're giving you. And that's why they just want to shoot the stag down right the problem is is with this ace of water or vessels uh the water's light they don't have that this is what's um blocking them really they might their next move is probably just to cut you out even though it's, it's not unfair to you it's not fair to you at all capricorn it's totally unfair they know this you know Hmm. This is a practitioner, much like myself. They might be losing their ability. It's like they can see shit coming. Like this is someone who knows how to use cards, crystal balls, runes, um, tallied, all that fun shit. Right? This is someone who has the ability. Um, like I said, there's a lack of potential here with this Ace of Cups. It's like this person can see shit coming. Or Capricorn, maybe you saw something with this person coming. You divinated what was blocking them. You already knew what the fucking problem was. Maybe they know what the problem is, but it doesn't seem like you're doing anything about it. Mm. It seems like there's a home situation, right? Where there was always this giving nature. However, in the background, the person who's older and giving, they kind of like speak fucking Chinese to a German cat. And, and they don't understand each other. And they're frustrated. And they think that they could just keep pushing or whatever. Or maybe they feel like they're giving to a situation and not, and just uh, talking nonsense to them. Like, they don't understand where you're coming from either, possibly. But it's not like this person didn't know. Like, like let's, let me be clear. This person knows. Like, the high priestess, this is intuition and shit. This person already knew that there's some potential that was missing on their side on this situation. Like, they know. And you know. But I also feel like they're not going to be fair in telling you that they know either. Like, they're not stupid. They're far from stupid. You're just emotionally dumb, that's all. Which is amazing, because there's water right in this. Technically, there's water in almost all of these cards. Almost.
King of Pentacles right here. This could be a counterpart, Capricorn, and a cross watcher. Someone who's abundant, someone who only wants a piece of the cake as long as everyone gets a slice. Counterpart to the queen. Um, are they getting pushed out or something? Or jealous? I don't know. I'm, I'm getting that pretty heavy. Or, or, or is there this King of Cups right here, Capricorns and Cross Watchers? Is this a different person? Because it seems like they don't have anything fair to say about this Queen of Pentacles. It seems like they got some shit to say. And there's some King of Pentacles over here that's being divinated about or looked into or something like that. Could be another earth sign and a water sign involved here. Um, Ace of Cups again. <laughs> okay, so what the fuck is this, Capricorn the Cross? This person's judging you harsh. Or something. Like. They're looking at you like, um, you're the one who doesn't have potential in this thing, right? They could be your counterpart, for sure. But it also seems like they're not giving you anything to, um, give them, give you hope. You have no hope in this. We got two earth signs, a water sign, and then we got you over the fuck here. Being like, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't believe in this anymore. But they're not really giving you anything to believe in either. Okay. What to be aware of with this person? Or what this person needs to be aware of? Or just the situation in general? <clears throat> I don't feel like... I feel like this is too counterpart energy. But I don't feel like either of these earth signs are doing anything either. Capricorns and cross watchers. Just to be clear. So don't want the ends of frustration because they think a water sign is completely unfair to an earth sign. This person could be divinating that you just don't have any hope in the situation because there is no hope. What's there to be aware of, Capricorns and Cross Watchers? Hmm. The Great Bear. I feel like that's judgment too. Are you going to go in that or should you not? Like, you could probably make it before the bear gets there. But then this person, I feel like, is going to be out of all these options, Capricorns and Cross Watchers. If you decide to go past this bear into the cave where you are, there is no hope. There is no faith. So. Lack of strength and possibly self control, lust, um, greed, gluttony, all that shit. Like, you, know, you don't have a lot of strength and you can't stop yourself from doing that, but they're gonna hide that shit. They're gonna hide it from you. Um, Capricorns and Cross Watchers, I feel like, um, hmm, this is someone who doesn't like telling you shit. <laughs> Yeah, this person definitely does not like it when you preach at them. Like, they, they definitely got this energy of, like, they, they don't want to hear anything. Even if you were to tell them exactly what the fuck was up, you probably even divinated this shit. They probably saw it. You saw it. But you, like, you already told them, Capricorn. You already told them exactly what was going to happen. And, like, they didn't want to listen. And now they don't even know they want to come near you. That's ridiculous. All right, the results of all this, a lack of celebration for a bow. It's going to be with Gemini. Um, I mean, Gemini is in this energy. we got the King of Arrows over here. But there's no celebration with this. Someone could be trying to vocalize this, or someone could just be shutting the door in your face, Capricorn Crosswalk. It could be this person, you know? They don't know where to go, but someone definitely wants to move forward. Definitely could be with a Cancer energy right here. There's no celebration because they don't know where to go. Um, and now all of a sudden they're turning around like, maybe I don't want to fly off with these people. Maybe I don't want to take off with whoever it is. Like, could be two other people that they're um, handling too. 
That's probably why they can't deal with you either. This person probably has like a bunch of people who are dumb around them, honestly. And they don't want to listen to you because you're the only one with some sense. No, they want to try to resolve all the fights and the issues now. Even though everything's been complicated. Like all the kids are, like all the cats have been hissing at each other and shit. How do you fix that? How? How do you fix that? How do you fix all the cats all of a sudden? You know freaking out on each other i don't know i'm quite disappointed honestly i'm rather insulted like i'm i'm actually really annoyed with this person because it's like they know they might even have another earth sign um somewhere that you don't know about that they're being completely unfair to and these are counterparts so like Capricorn, they, if you're like usually you're the Queen of Pentacles because you know I am the Queen, right? Fuck that. Da da da, right? So right here, this person can recognize that they are um, being unfair to you, and over here they know, they know that they don't have that they aren't going to bring in the potential in this. It's even been divinated that they aren't going to bring the potential of this. If this is the King of Pentacles, it could be the other way around where um. They're seeing how unfair you can be to them, or maybe that's how they see it anyway, because that's how it's kind of coming up too. But they've also used their divination to see how you really feel about them. But it's, uh, it's like, you know, when someone punches you in the face and then tries to buy you a beer afterwards, and then you try to ask them why, and then they punch you in the face again for asking. After a while, you're just not even going to bother to ask every time they buy you a beer. Sometimes they just bring you shit just to shut your mouth up. And it's just like, why do you keep bringing me this shit? Like, it's not fixing the issue. That's just avoiding the issue, you know? All you're doing is pretending to, um, give a fuck. You're not really giving me what it is I want or need. I'm asking you for a want or a need. Why can't you give it to me? You know, one of those things. And it's like, no, they just... They just like, they bring you shit, but at the same time, this person is a takesies backseat motherfucker, too, because they won't give you anything that you seriously want, and even when they do, they want to take it back one way. They might go and fuck up a payment for you just so you could possibly still need them and shit. Or, uh, this person could, could break something, and, the, like, I don't know, like, um... Like a shitty ass car salesman purposely has something wrong with the vehicle, so you keep bringing it back and bringing it back to get it fixed, and then all of a sudden another problem springs up. Well, I thought you already fixed this problem. Well, I did, but I guess it needs more maintenance. Well, why couldn't you do it right the first fucking time? I don't want to keep wasting and spending my money on your bullshit. This is a takes back see motherfucker. They just take things back in really fucking side in really sideways ways, like a cancer, like they sabotage shit. All right. So, what's the after effect of what their next move is? This unfairness towards you, Capricorn, which I think is what they're going to do to you. I think they're just trying to be unfair to you. Um, you do not even pay attention. <laughs> you are just unbothered. Look at you. That double Queen of Pentacle upright energy. You're just like, okay, that's fine. I'm making my own money. You have fun with that. You don't even care, Capricorn. <laughs> their next move doesn't even bother you. You're busy doing your own shit. That's like you don't have any faith in the situation. Why are you gonna give your energy to something that doesn't seem like it's gonna be worth it? You know, you're only investing in the things you can. You probably are paying more attention to your money than anything. Um, <laughs> like if you give them this pentacle, they're <laughs> uh, you're giving a backhanded compliment as you're giving them money. Like here you go. I know you were too busy doing blah 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 to actually do whatever so here you go it's like you want to kick them but you don't so you just say something really fucked up just to catch your attention like wait wait what what did you just say to me oh nothing here's your coin you know like saying some fucked up shit like your hair looks nice today i'm glad you put effort in this time you know that kind of fucked up shit it's like it, it, like you're you're gonna be really nice when you say some mean shit capricorn <laughs> Yeah, like, you're busy with your own shit. If this person comes up, you're going to make sure that they pay for what they get from you, too. Because I feel like this oh, this gnome owes you some shit, and, you, and you're making sure you're getting a swing in one way or another. If it can't be physical, since you're already giving them physically something, it's going to be another way. Emotionally, mentally, verbally, doesn't matter. You're going to vent your frustration the next time they come up for something from you, Capricorns and Crosswatcher. Because they're taking from your goddamn pentacles. 
It's just like, ah, here, get the fuck out. <laughs> you know? And that'll what'll be the justice in this. Like, they're going to be coming up on you while you're busy. You, They ask for shit. You're going to give them whatever. And, and they're going to realize it's justified because they know exactly why you're reacting the way you are. Okay. What's blocking this person or situation? I, yeah, they're, uh, they're shit, you know, like, someone does not like, like, what's blocking them, it causes them or a person that they're dealing with, anybody in their situation who's dealing with this person, they have to clean up the mess that's left. There's always a mess, there's always pests, there's always bugs, and someone always has to invest the money to fix that shit. Like, you just bombed the house for roaches the other day, and now there are more roaches? What did you do? Well, I didn't bomb all the rooms. So we still have roaches. That's great. That's great. Well, I bombed it. You didn't bomb everything. You left the windows open. Now I need to spend more. You know, it's like that. That It's like this person purposely comes in, tries to fix things, and then they fuck it up the same way it got fixed. Oh, this one's already turned over. Ugh. They ain't gonna say much of the truth, though. This person will tell you things that are important. That's what really fucks things up. They keep their mouth shut. Like, they're, they're acting like they're gonna pay attention to the bird, looking in that direction, but then they, like, like, my lighter. If someone's talking to me in the direction of where my lighter's sitting, it would be really weird for me to just not look at them and just stare at the lighter. And then as soon as they look away from me, go back to looking at it. Like, it, like it, it's something a, a fucking high schooler would do. Like, it'd be like, yeah, like, I can't see you staring at me. Um, this person doesn't want to say anything because they already know, oh, I'm going to have to find a way of fixing this too now. At the same time, though. Hmm. They know what needs to be said. They're just not saying it. You know, because the King of Arrows is over here. The King of Swords, he's over here with the traveling card. Like I said, they could be traveling to you, Capricorn, the Frost Watchers. They could be traveling away from you. Or you could be doing it to this person. Whatever. I don't know. This is just an extended of what I already fucking read for y'all. But, with big ass hut. Um, they're not saying what needs to be said. And I think they know that they want to come up to you. But they also know you're going to kick them and it's going to be justified. Yeah, and they are very, you know, that they're tempted to come to you. They won't say that you're like a temptation or something that they needed to catch or something. Like, what the fuck? What a weird mentality. It's like this person wants to catch you or have them for themselves. And it's kind of weirding me out. They won't say that they actually want that ass. This is really giving me an awkward feeling, Capricorns and Cross Watchers. I don't know why. I don't know why these two people are kind of grossing me out with the fucking in front of everybody. Like, I don't know what it is. It, like, is this person attached to, like, some pussy or some penis? Like, what is this? Is someone, like, tempted by that booty? That delicious booty? Yo ho ho, and if I love them, it's my duty to please that booty. Like, is that what it is? Is someone like scared to confess that they're addicted to the D or some shit? Like, what? What is that? Like, why is that grossing me out? Why do you gross me out with that? There's something about the fuckingine. There's something about the fuckingine that's bothering me here, and I don't know what it is. That's what's blocking this person. This person might have a problem with the dick. <laughs> this person might have. Uh... Make bad choices because of the D. Or just, or or the P. Whichever one. Whichever one it is. Or maybe it's both. I don't know. But this person has, it's gross. There's something gross about it. And I don't know what it is. And it's bothering me. Okay, so. Uh, what to be wary of. Ooh, he's got four. This person needs to use their intuition, you know, what they've already divinated about not wanting to be alone or whatever. And they need to actually speak to somebody, but I feel like they're making excuses for it. Like, they know someone's on guard and they're making excuses for why they're on guard. Um, and Capricorn, if you're on guard, it's because you don't have any fitness, you know, like there's something here. 
What's the result of all this? Let's see. Uh, well, let's see. They don't know where to go, so they really don't want to go anywhere, and then they want to try to resolve the issue. The issue is that that's because they can't get over all the dumb shit they did. Oh boy, look at that. We're totally doing the air signs next. Uh, then they want to hug the lion. Like, they can't get over what they've done, and that's why I want to come back and give you hugs, which is just like, is that really safe? Like, he. Mm. Something's wrong here. I don't know what it is. Like, there's a word I want to say. There's something I want to say, and I feel like I can't say it. And that really makes me mad. But I can't say it because I don't know for sure. Like, I know. I'll, I mean, I know for sure. But um, there's a situation that I have right now that I, I really can't say. Because if I do say it... Oof. I'd I, no, I'm not. No. But you can message me and ask what the word is and I'll tell you. Or email me or something and I'll tell you what the word is. But you're not allowed to tell anybody else. If you do, your hair is falling out. Straight and simple. Point blank. No problems. And I will know who it is. <laughs> but if you want to know, I'll let you know that way. But I'm not saying it here. Capricorn and the Cross Watchers, I'm gonna let you know this person's gonna keep doing this shit over and over again. Like, they need their ass beat, like, they need their ass beat repeatedly. They're still not learning. Why are you repeating the tower again, person? Why? Why does this need to be done over and over again? I do not understand what the point of that even is. That is insane to me. <laughs> like, that's so silly. Bad attitude, none too happy, trying to get over things that they regret, but that's hard to do because they got some like blatant bullshit and they're not gonna take any leap of faith in their happiness to get over the regrets they have because they started off the shit on their fucking own Capricorns and Cross Watchers. This is the, the consequences of their actions. It's literally, Jesus Christ, okay. This is the consequences of their fucking actions. Point blank simple and, and like the consequences dealing with you because like they already know what they know. They probably already read this shit. They already know how you feel. They should know how you feel because they should know you. This is a person who's known you for a long time. Maybe not know you as well as a person who like you saw last week or at the store on the regular where you get a cup of coffee. But um this person knows you enough to know how you should be how you should react to specific shit because they've seen how you've reacted before so i don't know but that's the end of your extended capricorns and cross watchers um thank you for joining me i hope you guys have a good day and i will see you later love your faces bye